regulators. We regulate any steel on his property, and we damn good too. But you can't just be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel, you know what I mean? Earn your keep. Regulators! Mount up. What's up everyone? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email as right here. But right now, you are tuned in to another episode of The Archives where we take a look at classic albums and albums that might not be classic, but we love them and they're from the past. Now in this episode, we are reviewing something that I consider to be a classic and it's Warren G's album, Regulate G-Funk Era. If you're not familiar with Warren G, he's an artist from out of the LBC who was also part of the group 213 with Nate Dogg and Snoop Dogg. And this album dropped back in 1994, so some of you probably weren't even born when this shit came out. But I was like 9 or 10, and I had this dubbed on tape, and I used to kill this album to smithereens, man. I still love this album all these years later. And like I said, to me, I consider it to be a classic. And the reason for that is because Warren G was really helping to pioneer that West Coast G-Funk sound. The beats on here are loaded with smooth samples, light keys, fat bass, and of course, that classic West Coast whistle. And even though the content and rhyme schemes don't get too crazy or intricate on this one, Warren G's smooth style and vocal delivery just matches these beats perfectly, man. He just floats over top of them, and sonically it's a very cool and laid-back album that is very, very, very damn pleasing to listen to. But of course, the big hit from this one is the song Regulators, and I think pretty much everybody knows this. In my opinion, I would say it's one of the biggest hits that hip-hop ever had in the 90s, period. And Nate Dogg's appearance on here is legendary. It is absolutely iconic. And once you hear the song once or twice, you're going to find yourself just singing along with Nate's parts every time you hear this track. Even when the song's not playing, you might be singing it along in your head, because that shit gets caught in my head all the time, like at least a couple times a week, because that's how damn catchy it is. Now the content on this song has them telling the story of how Warren G gets caught up in a dice game and then Nate Dogg has to swoop through, save him, and then they go get some girls and of course they gotta go back to that east side motel where it's going down. So I like how this one has a bit of storytelling to it. And then I gotta say how surprised I was years later when I found out that it sampled this Michael McDonald song. I forget what it's called but it goes something like, I keep forgetting my own or some shit like that. It used to come on the radio at work all the damn time, and it would catch me by surprise, because I'd think to myself, oh shit, we're about to hear Warren G, Regulators, featuring the legendary Nate Dogg, but no, instead, we're getting Michael McDonald. But either way, that song is a classic. It's an all-time great single, and I gotta say the same thing about the other two singles, This DJ and Do You See. These are two other really amazing singles that embody that classic West Coast G-Funk sound, and even though they weren't as big as Regulators, I think they still hold up today. They're very smooth tracks, and the hooks on those songs are catchy as hell too. There are just catchy hooks all over this album, and I gotta say, man, there's this beautiful simplicity to this album that really makes it work, because even though the rhyme schemes, the flows, delivery, even though all that shit doesn't get complicated and too deep and inventive, it still just sounds so damn good, man, and these songs will all get stuck in your head. And of course, if we're going to talk about catchy songs on here, I gotta bring up This Is The Shack, featuring the Dove Shack, who was well known for their song Summertime in the LBC. But this song right here, This Is The Shack, just oozes summertime vibes with that West Coast whistle and another catchy hook for you to sing along with. I just absolutely love this song. One of my favorites on here, and another personal favorite of mine has gotta be So Many Ways. This actually made the Bad Boys soundtrack. I know you remember that classic Bad Boys with Martin Lawrence and of course Will Smith. And this song was so catchy too, even though I had no idea what Lady Levi was saying on the hook because of that Jamaican accent, that slang, that patois. But again, has that classic West Coast sound with some fuzzy bass, that West Coast whistle. This whole album really just comes together very nicely. It's very snug and cohesive. And I can listen to this shit from start to finish. I like pretty much every song on here, and I wouldn't say there's one track on here that is awful. Now you do hear some weird lyrics every now and then, like on the song What's Next, when Warren G actually misspells the word next because he says N-X-E-T. That's just something that people bring up all the time when they discuss this album. But for the most part, this is a very enjoyable project. You got a nice posse cut called Running With No Breaks and another track called Super Soul Sis, both of which feature Joss Skills, who absolutely snaps, man. She really comes on this album and shows that as a lady MC, she can hang just as well with the fellas. I also forgot to mention that you got Mr. Malik on What's Next. He's a kid rapper who was really doing his thing back in the 90s. He was also on Snoop's album Doggy Style. 
and you get the twins on a couple of tracks as well. So there are some solid features on here. Overall, I really don't have many complaints about this album, and I love this shit, man. Like I said, it oozes some summertime vibes. Very smooth, very laid back, bright, and sunny. So check it out if you never have, and if you have checked it out, I want to know if you think this is a classic, how much you love it, how much you hate it. If you do, which you must be crazy if you hate this shit, because this is just so damn wavy. But either way, let me know in the comments section how you feel about this album, and make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and of course, man, you gotta subscribe to my channel and click like on that Facebook page. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.